It's Wednesday, March 6, 2013. Imagine, if you will, I am Ross Miller traveling through a dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge, brought to you by Motorola. Nearly 20 years later, the decision to bundle a web browser with Windows is still giving Microsoft grief. Today, the European Union has decided to fine the company around $732 million for breaking a 2009 antitrust agreement. Microsoft was supposed to add a so-called browser ballot, but a quote, technical error removed the choice in Windows 7. Microsoft has said it will quote, take full responsibility. And just for a little perspective, that full responsibility is just about 3% of its profit last year. In no time to discuss this as a committee, Carrie Fisher is returning to the Star Wars universe. The actress confirmed to Palm Beach Illustrated that she would reprise her role as Leia for J.J. Abrams' upcoming Star Wars Episode 7. Rumors have suggested that Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill could also be on board, with all the pieces lining up, the three most famous characters in Star Wars history outside of R2-D2 could reunite on screen in 2015. But clearly it only takes one to sound the alarm, so be sure to hire them all real quiet-like. And finally, the streaming music service by Beats is getting some serious backing. Codenamed Daisy, the project received a $60 million investment from a group led by billionaire Lee Lobotnik. Reuters is also reporting that Apple's Tim Cook and Eddie Q have recently met with Beats to discuss the service. So what will the latest streaming music service look like and how will it do? We'll find out this summer as Daisy launches. And that's it for today's top stories. Tune in tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern for the return of Top Shelf with David Pierce.